Hello, my name is Emily. Thank you for joining me today for some yoga. In today's yoga, I'd like to show you one pranayama or breath work and various asana or postures to help aid digestion. So our asana will be folding our bodies, twisting our bodies, and getting into squatting positions, all with the goal of massaging our abdomen just to help aid with our digestion. Now I'll be primarily in a chair today, but all of the, these asana can be done out of a chair. And so anything I say are just suggestions. And if you'd like to modify it, please feel free to do so. Do what's best for your body. So feel free to skip anything or modify anything at any time. And I'll try to give some different variations and modifications as we go as well. And if you're in a chair, come to a comfortable seated position where your knees are at a 90 degree angle. Perhaps this means you are forward in your chair, scooching forward. Or perhaps that means rolling up a towel or a blanket or using a pillow to bring your hips up to achieve that 90 degree. Feet are shoulder width apart, feet are firmly planted on the ground. Bring your hands to your thighs. And bring your attention into the room. Perhaps notice any sounds. Now bring your attention inwards, focusing on your own body and on your breath. If it feels good, then gently close your eyes. And let's practice inhaling through our nose and exhaling through our mouth. can remain closed or open if you'd like. So our pranayama, let's seal the right nostril using the finger on your right hand and we'll breathe in through our left nostril and out through our mouth. I'll try this for a count of three. If it doesn't feel comfortable, we'll just go back to our normal breathing. So blocking the right nostril, inhaling through the left. eyes are still closed, gently open your eyes, coming into Tadasana pose or mountain pose. Feet are grounded, shoulders are back, hands are open, palms facing forward. Feel free to have a prop ready if you'd like a prop to help support your body. So we'll inhale, swooping our hands up, and exhale, we'll hinge at the waist. If you're in your seat, feel free to put a blanket or a pillow towards your knees and that helps catch your chest, exhaling, coming down. If you're standing, feel free to have a pillow, blanket, block to help support your body as you come down, making your spine long and lengthening through the back of your neck. And we'll breathe here for another moment. Let's inhale coming up, perhaps putting our block to the side. And exhale. We'll inhale, heel toeing our feet open, bringing our knees as wide as what's comfortable for you, just ensuring that our knees are not coming out over our toes into goddess pose. Let's inhale, arms up, and exhale, bring our arms open like a cactus, and inhaling here. Now, if you're not in your chair, perhaps it looks something like this. Engaging through the abdomen, 
engage it through the glutes. And exhale, let's release, bringing our feet forward, shoulder distance apart. Coming into squat position. So from a chair, I'll inhale my hands up, bringing the palms together, bending at the waist, and bringing the elbows to the knees. If you can fit your knees inside, excuse me, if you can fit your elbows inside your knees, give that a try. And then as we inhale, we'll lengthen through the spine and exhale, just push slightly with our elbows. Now, if you're on the ground, and the squat feels like it's a little too much, feel free to take a prop. Perhaps coming down and catching your body. You can do it at any height that might feel good for you. Or perhaps without a prop, bringing our elbows inside our knees and pushing out. Whichever way feels best for your body. Let's inhale here and exhale, release. So if you're on the floor, I suggest you come onto all fours, getting ready for cat cow pose. From, from here, making sure our feet are shoulder width distance apart, hands can come onto your knees. If you're on the ground, definitely push into the ground, just engaging through your arms and shoulders and engaging through your abdomen. Let's inhale here, arching our back, bringing the belly forward or down towards the ground, bringing the chin up if it feels good, exhaling, forming a C with our body. If you're on the ground, back coming up towards the ceiling. So inhale, open, and exhale, opposite direction. Last one. Massaging the abdomen. Coming into a comfortable position. If you're on the ground, I suggest flipping over, preparing for our bridge pose. If you're on your chair, we'll, let's put our hands slightly behind your glutes. Feet are slightly greater than 90 degree angle. And we're going to push into the chair with our hands, bringing our hips forward engaging through the legs, and if it feels good, you can even slide as close to the edge of the chair as possible, or perhaps completely bringing the bum off the chair. So if you're on the ground, it might look something like this. You're on your back, your hands are firmly on the ground, legs shoulder width apart, engaging through the core, engaging through the hips, and then lifting the hips off the ground. This is also a great place to use your, a prop. If you'd like a little support, you can place it right under your glutes. Slowly for another breath. And release. You can move your props, and or if you're in your chair, sliding back into a comfortable seated position. So from here, we're moving into a pasana, or one-legged pasana. So let's inhale here, lengthening through the spine. And on the exhale, I'm gonna clasp under my, underneath my right leg. And perhaps just lifting the toes slightly off the ground, or as high as what feels good for you. If you're on the ground, you're completely reclined, and the left leg is straight and the right knee can come up as far as what feels good for your body. Switching, so we'll inhale and then moving to the left leg, perhaps slightly bringing our toes off the ground or perhaps clasping the knee and bringing the knee up to the chest, whatever is feeling good for your body. Inhale here, and exhale, releasing. Now getting ready for the twist. If you're on the floor, I'm 
and straighten your body out. And then we'll imagine inhaling, taking our right leg and perhaps crossing the right ankle over the left knee. If you'd like, you can even cross your right knee over your left knee, whatever feels good for you. And if you're on the floor, feel free to drop your right leg over. All right, now let's inhale, lengthening through the spine. And then on the exhale, moving our body towards the right, starting with the belly button and then ending with the shoulders and the neck. Relaxing through the shoulders, gaze coming over the right shoulder. A little twist, you can feel it along the left hand side through the right hip. If you're on the ground, it might look something like this. Let's prepare for doing the left side. And let's release our body. And then inhale, catching our left leg and helping to guide the left ankle over the right knee. Or perhaps it feels better with the left knee over the right ankle. Inhaling, bringing your spine into a nice straightened position. Exhaling, leading with the belly button, and then ending with the shoulders and the head. Gaze is over the left shoulder, shoulders are relaxed. Let's inhale here, lengthening the spine, and exhale, releasing it. Now, moving into Happy baby before Shavasana. So if you're reclined on the floor, you can bring both legs up, or perhaps just starting with one leg. If you're in your chair, first let's start with our right leg, moving it out to the side in a 45 degree angle, and perhaps coming up on your toes. If you'd like to take it a little deeper, you can lift your knee towards your chest, or bringing your hand on the inside, grabbing your toe, and bringing your heel up for a half a happy baby pose. Let's inhale here and exhale releasing. We'll prepare for the other side. Inhale and exhale. Let's inhale, bring our left toe up, 45 degree angle out, or perhaps taking it a little further or perhaps reaching inside your left knee and getting your left toe with your left hand, bringing your knee up, making sure it's out into another, the other half of the happy baby pose. If you're on the ground, it might look something like this. So feel free to rock back and forth. Massaging your body. And let's prepare for Shavasana. So since we're talking a little bit about digestion and massaging our abdomen, I'll invite you to take Shavasana on your left side if it feels good. Or if you prefer traditional Shavasana, you can feel free to come onto your back. You can place bolster or blanket under your knees for a little support. Hands come out to the side. If you're in your chair, you can feel free to get as comfortable as possible in your chair. Perhaps leaning back into the seat of your chair, catching the weight of your body. Hands can be on your thighs perhaps by your side, on your belly, whichever position feels best for you. Gently bring your eyes to close. And just imagine on each inhale, bringing a beautiful energizing light into your body. And with each exhale, releasing it. 
Eu só vou pedir o seu nome. Não é nada. Só que isso é uma liberdade. Muito grande. When you're ready, let's bring attention to our body. Let's bring some movement to our fingers and our toes. Taking any movement that feels good for your body right now. And coming into a seated position. Bringing length to our spine. Let's inhale through our nose and exhale through our mouth. Let's inhale, bring the hands up and over, hands in front of the heart. And we breathe throughout the week. 